Boshu. Today we are going to talk about conjugation of verb in present tense. Verb are an important part of French grammar and they take different forms according to gender that is masculine gender, feminine gender, singular number, plural number or past, present or future. Today we are going to talk about conjugation of verb in present tense. Aaj hum aap se baat karenge, kaise hum verb ko conjugate kare present tense mein. Now let's start. The verb, they are divided into three groups. One, two and three. Now in group first, all the verb which are ending with er. They will come in group first. And in group second, verb which are ending with IR. Whereas the verb which are ending with RE or OIR means they are in group 3. So there are three groups. One is group 1, ER ending verbs. Group 2, second that is IR and group 3rd wherein the verbs are ending with R, E, or V, O, I, R, or means other endings are also there. Now they are further divided into two groups that is regular and irregular. All the verbs which are ending with E, R, or I, R, they are, they have a regular ending. Whereas the group third verb, they are called irregular verb. For example, Jesse English me kate, I am eating. So in French, we do not translate it, I am eating. In French, we simply say, I eat, I talk, I sing, I read. Even if in English it is translation, I am reading or I am singing. In French we will translate, I sing, I read, I talk, like this. So in French, these regular verb, the group first verb which we are going to talk about, they take a set pattern. Now let's take some examples. Parn, parler is to speak. They are all example of group first verb. Shante to sing. Done to give. Arrive to arrive. Regarde means to look. So they all are example of group. First verb. Now all verb which are part of group first, they follow a regular pattern except with the exception of ale. So only with the exception of the verb ale which means to go, all the verb in first group they take a set pattern. Now Let's conjugate. For example, we take the verb parle. Now let's take the examples. Par means to speak. So in this parle, the root is Pard and ending is er. We can conjugate it like this. Je pard. Tu tu pard. Il or l. L L E 
now this root is same is same now the ending is in place of er it is e es and e i speak japan tupan you speak el pan or el pan they speak now we will conjugate it we speak it is nu parlo wo wo par and in plural it will be il or l nu parlo we speak wo par you speak plural number wo par you speak and l par or il par means they speak so all the verb which are ending with er they will follow the set pattern now with the help of this we can conjugate other verb also for example shante means to sing again we can write it like this 